right, good afternoon. Welcome to the Healthy Union um, lunch initiative that we have going here in the Student Union. Today I'm going to be preparing for you uh, a homemade taco seasoning. We're going to be doing um, just a, a very basic chicken taco and a black bean taco. I guess today you would say that our, our theme was the government has taken our bread. Right? Tax time, they're taking our bread, okay? But really, so what we've translated that into is um, this is going to be a low-carb theme. So not no-carb, but low-carb. So again, we're doing the, the chicken taco, black bean taco, and we're using a product by Mission, which is Carb Balance Tortillas. They're really low-carbohydrate. Low, uh, low uh, you can have about three of those and stay within a 15 gram carb uh, serving. So it really works well for this purpose. All right, I'm going to just jump right in. We're going to start off with, uh, I'll tell you the ingredients for the taco seasoning. I've already mixed it for you, so um, I didn't want to take the time to just you know, bore you with seeing all of it go together and mix it up. So this is chili powder, granulated garlic, cayenne pepper, ground oregano, paprika, ground cumin, salt, which I use kosher or sea salt, and black pepper. It's just a very basic rub uh, that we would use here in, in our region for uh, just about any type of barbecue or Tex-Mex uh, mix that you'd want to do. So there's that. We'll be using that to season both the, the chicken and the beans, and you will tell a difference uh, because of the main ingredient. So I'm going to start with the black beans. I'm going to get started with um, some olive oil going into, I've already preheated the pan, so little time savings there. We're going to add straight into diced onions and minced garlic. And very shortly we'll add some green chilies. Let that get started. While that begins to uh, come together, I'm going to go ahead, for time's sake, and also start the chicken. So again, in goes a little bit of olive oil, some minced onion. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add green chilies. Let that heat for just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and go in with um, poblano peppers. These are fresh poblanos that I've just kind of diced small. And that's for the chicken. This will give a real fragrant flavor to it. I'm going to go in with the black beans. And I went ahead and washed these. If you don't wash them uh, and you've used black beans much, you know that you, uh, you kind of end up, for lack of a better term, it actually just kind of starts to look a little muddy, okay? So if you wash them first, then the bean is, is very clean, and um, it'll give a little, little nicer appearance, and you're not losing anything flavor-wise. Let those heat a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit of our taco seasoning. And this, I say about a tablespoon or to taste. If, if you like it really light, then of course you could back off. If you really like your seasoning, you can add more, of course. Adding some to the poblano peppers and the onions over there. All 
All right, let that heat up. In goes the chicken. Condense this down a little bit. For those of you that like to cook and be adventurous, the really neat thing about any recipe is you can modify it to your liking. So, you know, as far as this, uh, the pre-made pre -made seasoning goes, if you would rather just break all of those ingredients out and put them all together, um, just sprinkle them into uh, into your mix as you choose that's fine too if you want to omit something fantastic want to add something you can I'm going to give that just a little bit more I think cilantro going in with the beans and a little with the chicken With the beans, I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, diced tomato in right here at the end. Then, of course, you'll have whatever condiments you and your family like. Today, we have 2% um, cheese, shredded cheese, uh, shredded lettuce, some pico de gallo. And uh, I have, we're, instead of sour cream, we're using some Greek yogurt, and I put just a little bit of the taco seasoning into it. pan out. Okay, Up comes the chicken. Last element for this in a dry saute pan I'm going to heat up some of the tortillas and instead what I like to do with with the carb balance is they seem to be a little more susceptible to moisture so they'll get soggy on you uh, a little quicker than a standard tortilla will when you heat it up in the microwave or go to steam it so I like to throw them in a dry saute pan and just put just a little bit of a crisp on them Yes, ma'am. Let those get ready.
Does this look like, like something you would do at home? Yeah. Any questions so far about any of it? Everything pretty straightforward, right? Does it taste good, right? Yeah. All right. Now, as I said, um, just for time's sake, I'm going to push these just a little bit. Uh, for our tasting here in a moment, I'll go ahead and crisp some for you. But I'll pull these and uh, let you see the, the final build. We'll do one of each. About 24 ounces of, of uh, chicken and beans, and depending on your crew, um, it'd be easy to pull together four to six servings, you know, two to three ounces of filling per, per tortilla. Of course. And then I'm going to slide it right over there by the condiments. And then you can see the finished product. And there you're ready to go with black bean and uh, chicken tacos. <laughs> All right, so, and that's it for today. Hope you enjoy. Let's start the let's start the tasting. There's a couple built. You can help yourselves. <laughs>